She says, this young man is behaving in a very, in a way that is very familiar to black men and the CGS, CJS. He knows how the chairs may turn and he being charged with a crime and the other fellow walk away scot-free. Immunity is necessary and I don't blame him. Defense wants to focus on everything and anybody else other than what happened to George Floyd under his knee uh, of his client. Hell, the Central Park Five is a great example of how black men get accused of something they didn't do. All right, um, let me start with you, uh, Julia. Uh, um, um, she's a little bit all over the place there, so I'm not sure where to go. A lot go to with unpack that. in that, that yeah, comment. There's from a Dorothy. lot to unpack out, right? A lot to unpack there. But let's just let's just start off by this idea. You know, the question is, you know, why wouldn't the prosecution want to give immunity? He doesn't. Uh, a charge of third degree murder doesn't fit into their uh, concept of the case or their theory of the case that George Floyd did not die of a drug overdose, but rather the knee on the neck. You know, it's unclear. The state didn't say on the record why they did not want to give immunity in this case. And it could be that it's not up to these lawyers who are handling this case. Sometimes immunity is something that has to be agreed to by the county where he would be charged. And these charges right now are in a different county. They're in Redwood. Um, the Redwood Sheriff's Office is the one who put out the outstanding warrant where he's incarcerated right now. But as far as in this case, you've got the Hennepin County uh prosecutor's office that would be involved in charging Derek Chauvin initially and in this case Maurice Hall so who knows if these prosecutors are even in a position to provide that immunity but they have not been clear on the record as to why or whether they would in the future. Now Krista good move by the uh, uh, by the defense attorney there for Maurice Hall asking for this immunity or asking to get this um, uh, motion quashed I mean you can't argue with that. No, you can't. And, you know, quite simply, it doesn't matter if the prosecution will or will not bring charges. That doesn't go into the analysis. The only way you know for sure that charges will not be brought is that granting of immunity. And without it, you know, there is no assurances that that will happen. And, you know, we have that Fifth Amendment right not to take a stand and incriminate ourselves under penalty of perjury. You know, so I, I think that, you know, I get it. And it was she was smart to pick up on it and she was smart to bring that motion to quash. Um, and like I said earlier, you know, I think that this actually, you know, helps the prosecution quite a bit. Uh, Mr. Nelson's not happy right now. Yeah, no doubt. And, you know, it was, I was amazed that he wasn't charged anyway. There's a number of other charges other than third degree murder. He could be charged with flowing from that day on May 25th, but he has not received charges. He's, uh, he's in jail on a different charge, a domestic violence issue uh, from a couple of years ago. All right, let's go to our next comment, Tom Carr. It is amazing how a criminal drug dealer can sell drugs that kill people and the prosecution protects them from answering questions. You know, Krista, this raises an interesting point. Um, if justice is what we're after here, um, why not give him what he wants and let him get on the stand um, and, and sort of, you know, support the defendant's right to have this guy testify um, on his behalf? Yeah, I mean, and this is what Mr. Nelson wants. And this is what Mr. Chauvin, you know, quite frankly, has a constitutional right to have is to be able to confront his accusers, to be able to, you know, he has a Sixth Amendment right you know, under the U.S. Constitution that is right now in conflict with the Fifth Amendment right of Mr. Hall. And so, you know, that's where we're left. I think um, I don't blame the prosecutors for this. I think that they're they're doing what they're supposed to be doing here. And I, you know, I think that this is playing out exactly how you would think it would be played out. And, um, you know, yeah, he's a drug, he, he, he is allegedly a drug dealer. Um, he, you know, maybe sold the drugs to Mr. Um, Floyd that that played a, a role um, in the events that unfolded on that day. But he has a right to not be forced to testify against himself in that regard. And so without that immunity granting, you know, this is where we are. You know, it's important to note that, you know, we don't know if he's a 